I've had some questions about um, the little these little lights that I have in my truck. Um, had a couple people ask, you know, about just how how to get them up or how I got them up, and um, so I, I've tried to explain it, but I think probably it's easiest just to do a real quick little video. Um, so these are just um, I think they're usually called like string lights, fairy lights, or something like that. I will put a link in the uh, notes on this um, to the ones that I got, but there's like a ton of them. Every, you can get all different kinds of uh, kinds of them, and they usually come with like a little remote with different modes and an on and off switch and a dimmer and all those kind of things, timer. Um, you can never underestimate the need for light. At least that's what I found when I've been out boondocking. Um, it's really dark. Uh, so I always have a couple of, like right here, I have like a little um, reading light right there. I have a headlamp that I'll put on. I have a little lantern. So this is just one of a couple different ways that I have of lighting things up. Um, because it's definitely needed. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and turn this around and uh, show you how I have them up. Okay, so first of all, that's the uh, little battery box. Mine are battery operated. It takes three uh, AA batteries. Um, so I have that just kind of mounted right there. That way, if I'm at the back of the truck, I can just operate it by the button on it. And um, if I'm in bed, I can just lean forward and use the remote. So what I did was these little clips. They're actually command clips um, that are generally advertised for holding lights like this. Um, sagging a little bit there, but I just mounted those all around the inside. I think I have like eight maybe. Um, and they hold it real nice. It's the right size to hold the hold them. Again, I'll put the, the uh, link for those in the notes. Um, now, what I found was that the um, what I found was that the uh, little sticky things that come with command hooks did not stick for me on um, on the fiberglass. If, if you have a, a lined or carpeted um, cap or shell, I'm sure it would be probably a lot different, probably easier, but I ended up with going with um, Gorilla mounting tape. So I just cut those into little sections that were right about the same size as the little clip um, and those have now stuck firmly in place um, for me. Uh, I did have one that kept falling. I'll show you over here. So I ended up going a little bit of a different route with it because no matter what I did, I even tried to sand down my fiberglass and it still didn't work. So up here, I have a different kind of, uh, just like a little hook. It's a hook with an adhesive back. Um, for some reason, in that one location in my truck, that corner, that was all that would work. Um, I can't remember all the different things I tried. Um, and then I have another one of those right here that I hang my little lantern on. It's super bright. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're looking to get into this before you get too far into it. Um, you want to get your lighting figured out. So it kind of stinks to be out in the pitch black and not be able to find something where you have one light, one lantern or one flashlight and it, it goes dead on you or gets wet or something like that. So backups are a good thing. But these uh, these lights really um, super nice. I like them. I like the little ambiance they give and um, pretty easy to put up. But uh, don't count on that if you use the um, command things like I did don't count on that command material adhesive material sticking to the top of fiberglass. Alright, hope this helps.